Welcome back, guys, to the next episode of Pokemon Rejuvenation. Uh, in the last episode, we uh, we got some time to know Crescent, you know, get to know her as a person, figure her out as a character, understand her history. Um, we learned that she, uh, you know, she had a tough time growing up uh, in a village as she was kind of ostracized for her birth because she was born to an outsider. Um, and uh, she originally had a faith in Cresselia that was kind of like, you know, she kind of went cold on it because uh, in her eyes, Cresselia really didn't answer back her prayers. And uh, she just lived a very, very painful existence prior to meeting the uh, the original group at the Starlight City Academy. Um, and from that point on, you know, she went, along, she went ahead to get to know our group as, you know, she's kind of a part of the team now. And we gotta, we've gotta accept that as we move forward. Uh, in addition to that, we finally had our reunion with uh, the space-time duo, specifically uh, Tiampa this time around. Uh, you know, those two are up to their own shenanigans, but uh, we don't really know what they are and what those goals are. But we do know we gotta stop them. Um, it probably has something to do with where we ended up going. Um, you know, the or Melly and I, where we ended up. So, yeah, there's a, a lot of stuff happened, but, you know, now we're just here. We, st we were told to come to Talon's house, figure out what's going on here. So, yeah, as usual, if you guys are enjoying this playthrough, please leave a like, comment down below, subscribe for more. Let's go. Okay. Flora. Oh, welcome, Robin. Please make yourself at home. Okay. Let's get down to business. Mate, it's good to see you. Glad to see you're in good health and all. Sorry for calling you so suddenly, Robin. Rihanna told me that I needed to make my way over here with a friend as soon as possible. Hey, Robin, bestie. Welcome to the party. Mother... I don't like you. I'm kidding. Rihanna... I don't have a problem with Rihanna. She's just kind of a side character. You know what it is. So I'm a treater like one. <laughs> Hi, Robin. How are things, Huey? Why would I ignore him? Did I have a reason to ignore him? Why was that even an option? Huey's only been a bro to me. It's still been kind of rough, but Lavender and Rihanna are making it better. I, I guess Renegade route. I guess you could like show your ass to everybody. Thanks for asking though, Robin. It means a lot. Right. I wanted to assemble a small team today because there's something I've been put putting off for far too long. The Seven Wonders of Grand Dream City. The what? The Seven Wonders of GDC? There are seven mysteries hidden about GDC that I'd like to uncover and reveal. Aren't wonders supposed to be amazing man-made achievements? Yes, and the mysteries talked about all are wonderful too, mate. Hence the seven wonders. I see. You're so smart, Mr. Uh, I mean, Talon. Mr. What the? Now, now away. Now away. That makes no narrow sense. What? Why is she saying it like that? And what does that have to do with us? I'd like all of us to split up into teams and investigate every single wonder and declare whether or not they're true. Oh, so it's kind of like a scavenger hunt mixed in with a bit of detective work. Sounds like fun to me. I, 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 I Somehow I fucking know I'm going to end up doing all of these. Huey, mate, your heart is always as gold as a treasure. You have the true heart of an adventurer. Okay, in that case, what exactly are these seven wonders? The seven wonders are as follows. A strange Pelipper shall get your mail if you put it when and put it within a specific mailbox in the judicial district. Huh? Why is that even a wonder? Fishing in one of the fountains will yield a secret. Something weird happens if you buy three specific accessories from Beautiful Beautifly's beautiful boutique. They say if you offer the three zinc to a certain grave in the Hope District, it'll summon a ghost. Ordering a tea off the secret menu at Mika's Cafe. Taking the subway from Grand Dream Station to Central Street and then from Grand Street Central Street to Somnia Mall will drop you off in a different world. Visiting this central building rooftop during windy weather will unveil a secret surprise. The top, the top of Central Building, but isn't that... We'll save that one for last. As for teams, Rihanna, Lavender, and Huey for one. Go Team Besties. Ren and Robin for team two. We got this in the bag. Yeah, you know it, bro. And me and my mate Florin for the third and final team. What? Well, since when would I was involved in all of this? Since just now. Come on, mate. It'll be a whole lot of fun. Oh man. All right. 
The things you do for the bro. <laughs> all right, then. Let's all disperse and make our way. All right, I think we should investigate the mystery in the Somnian Mall first. That's the closest, and it's right near the subway, so we can head over to the District of Hope right after. Let's unravel these mysteries. We're wasting our fucking time. But why not? Let's just vibe. Interesting. A lot of high-level books about botany and rare species of plants. There seems to be a strange green box abandoned here, collecting dust as if it were a dragon and dust were its hoard. Do you wish to take it? You won't miss it. The box has a lot of mechanisms on each side looking uh on each side. Looking the puzzles that need to be solved to open it up. Taking an even closer look at it, it seems to have a logo from Terra Juma Weather Institute. Perhaps you can find a way to get in through here. Additionally, squashed underneath seems to be a scuff and faded gift tag labeled to Flora. There seems to be nothing else here, so you finally put the box away in your eye. Okay. Alright. There's a floor in Florin's room, I guess. And then... This is Talon's room. You got a comfortable room, I ain't gonna lie to you. Oh, that's cool. Alright. So, Somnian Mall. Oh, shit. Is the mall right? I think the mall's right over here. Oh no, this is the night market. Although the mall is just through here. Right here. There's my boy. This is uh, the fountain mentioned in those seven wonders. I wonder. All right, so shall we do this? Uh, so, so all we have to do is fish in the fountain here, right? Then let's get fishing. Hmm. Nothing happened. Guess that was a fluke then, yes? W wait a minute. No, there's something in the water. Robin, look out. What? You can't look away from the star. What? A shiny. Oof. Well, probably what I should have done in the first place. Yeah, Venus is just gonna fucking floor this thing. Oh, I might be dead now. Yeah. Oh, do I get swept here? I'm sure Eon can take an attack from this. Yeah. What in the actual hell? Why was the star me inside of the fountain like that? How deep is the water in this thing? If I was Robo Ren right now, I'd hop in and take a look. <laughs> Do it anyway. No way. If that well, that place is too deep, I'd drown down there. Anyway, I think that's enough for this one. Let's mark it as done. Okay, we should take the subway to the District of Hope now. Don't forget that we need the uh, we'll need three zinc bottles. Should be able to pick some of that up if here if we have enough stamps. Hmm. Wait, there's something else in the water. Blue bead. Uh huh. Well, I guess I'll take this with me. All right, meet me at the train station. Oh, he fucking brought me with him. Oh, Ren, bro, a man after my own heart. Uh, let me go get them damn zinc bottles though. See, it was, only, it was unfortunate he brought me with him because I need the zinc bottles, but, like, I'm happy that he did. 
it's crazy. They they're go they're going out of their way to yep. Oops, excuse me. They're going out of the way to really highlight like friendship and companionship. And I'm all for that shit in a game like this. Like you got to love the characters or a game like this just doesn't work, right? Especially with how like in oops, excuse me, how insane the story is. Um give me one second. Okay, sorry about that. Ugh. Need three of these. Oof. Okay. Hmm. Now we need to take the train to train. We need to take the train to the district of hope. Boo! I'll smack this. You know what? I'll let you have that. Just the opportunity. <laughs> Thanks for being a good sport about it, Robin. Anyway, how about I make it up to you by paying for your ticket? Oh, shit, yeah, let's go. What the? Oh, hey, you two. Funny running into you two here. On a date? Something like that. We're just hanging out today. Guess you guys are doing the same. It's been a while since Melee and I have hung out like this. So I decided to invite her to a little date of our own. We just saw a movie and now we're going to hang out at the mall. Careful, Melia. Go on too many dates and Venom might get jealous. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to overstep. I was just making a joke. No, it's okay. You didn't say anything wrong. It's just... Hey, that's our train. You two held us up. Oops. Run, Aelita, run. Oh, the next time we see those two... It's on site, Robin, right? Right? On site, my boy Red and I will take him out. <laughs> Guess we just gotta wait. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what I was saying. Um, it's it's not enough to just like have a cool or interesting story. You gotta have characters that are like interesting too. And I think uh, Rejuvenation like n nails it. Although Reborn has some really good characters too. Rejuvenation's characters. I just love them a lot more. Even if I think Rebo Reborn has some really awesome characters. Like the Axis. Not the Axis. The. Uh, uh, it was the. Was it Core Ward? Or Obsidian Ward that the school was in? Basically, you know. Amaria, Julia, Titania, and Florina. Like, I love that core right there. That was just some good stuff. Just all of that. I'm here to escort the dead to their final resting place. They had a, mor a morgue? Death will be seeing you soon. Why the fuck would you run? Okay. Oh, hold up. People live and they die. What matters is how you spend your time alive. Because one day you won't be, and your memory will be buried in the sands of time. An escapable fate for the majority, if not all of us. I think everybody, no matter how popular or how prevalent they are, will succumb to time at some point. Uh-huh. Finding out all these people died. It's just kind of cold. Uh. Sorry, but these catacombs are for authorized people only. I like that they added this. Makes the city feel more like a real place. I don't like how close it is to the 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 the, the docks, but I mean, I, I guess. Oh, is this Lavender Tower? Huh. I'm surprised this is even here. Beware. You're welcome. Spell tag. Oh, that's a pretty good item. But we're getting side start. Huh? That's a weird wild Pokemon to find. 
Mommy said that she wanted me, uh, wanted to be alone today, and that made me kind of sad. But Daddy said that we all need our space, especially when it comes to things like this. Yeah, that's fair. Absolutely fair, to be honest. I probably would have put the graveyard, like, around here. Not, like, right there, but I understand. What the fuck was we doing? <laughs> Shoot, I forgot. Um, three badges. That's the overarching one. This is the sub one. Bring three zinc to the strange grave. What's the strange grave? Maybe I do need to go up that tower. Alright, we did out Risa as being deceased. Mm hmm. My Machamp was my grandfather's. He raised it when he was young. I knew I wouldn't have a long time with it, but uh, still so sad. Yeah. Spell tag. You should ninja certainly aren't hard to get my hands on. Grunt, you're Robin, aren't you? Look, I'm not here to fight. I'm a person just like anyone else. My sneeze and I got into an accident a long time ago and I lost her. I'm sorry. Thanks, Robin. I'm sorry, too. Interesting. Is this the strange grave? Nine tails. This doesn't seem like the place. Okay. Just make sure I didn't see anything. Damn, I feel bad because I lost Ren. Uh. Dr. Aisha's house? Hmm. Honestly, yeah, sure. My parents are forcing me to do all these programs and stuff. Man, I just can't take it. I'm not smart like mom and I'm not dedicated like dad. I don't want to do any of this anymore. I'm flunking bad. Oh god. All I want to do is eat potatoes and cheese. Can a girl eat some cheesy potatoes? I don't have any Pokemon, but I have money I took from my mom's purse. I bought a ticket for East Garrett. I don't know if I'll stay there, but anywhere is better than here. Whose house is this? Carmichael. Mosley.
Do I get to tell them I know her daughter and where she is? Is that something I'm able to do? Our daughter ran away from home almost a year ago now. I just don't understand why. She has a loving family and good opportunities. You know, when I was her age, I didn't have the same opportunities. I'll never forgive our daughter for leaving us without our permission. She is so behind on her studies and at this rate she won't be accepted in an Access High University. When we find her, we're going to have an extremely certain talk with her. Perhaps we'll send her to military school so she learns some discipline. Okay, yeah, never mind. Send them back to you two. You two obviously don't know why she left. And you don't seem to have any sort of self-awareness either. Um, Alright. Where's the strange freaking grave at? I mean, I guess I just talk to all the graves and see if something happens, right? Because it wasn't in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. It's the one with the blue fires. Okay, this looks like the right grave. So we just offered up the zinc here. Robin, you do the deed. Robin placed three bottles of zinc in the front of the grave. Hmm. This just feels like defiling a grave, so I'm going to just give a small little prayer. To the one who owns the grave, Almeta, Al 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 I hope your life was full of happiness and love. So what exactly is this supposed to do? What are you two doing to that grave? What the hell is this? Holy crap, where did this woman come from? It, is that Almeta? Almeta, that's it. I'm going to smack you. Almeta is attacking us beyond the grave. Robin, kill her again. What? Yeah. Well, her name's obviously Old Lady Haggy. No place for fairy tales. <laughs> sure. Samura. Level 91? What the? That's not fair. It don't matter, but it's not fair. Am I really about to click Earthquake in a graveyard? Shit. Oh, now you've done it. Her Pokemon are down. Do you the final blow and send the ghost back to the other realm? Ren, shut the fuck up. Ghost, I'm no ghost, you silly children. Oh, Ren, you didn't really think that was a ghost, right? <laughs> Guess you're not really a ghost. Sorry about that, ma'am. Sorry doesn't cut it. What are you two doing at my sister's grave? Your sister? Uh-oh. Yes, my sister, who died. You two better not be defiling this. Oh. Oh, you two. I'm afraid this has all been a misunderstanding on my end. Uh-huh. On your end? You two were here to give my sister her favorite treat. I don't know you. I, I don't know how you knew, but thank you so much for leaving these. Your sister likes zinc. At first, she took them for her sickness, but eventually, she grew to the to the taste quite a bit. Unfortunately, she never got better. But she had a peaceful passing, and she lived a long life. I'm sorry for your loss. It's better this way. She's in a better place now. Sleep well, Almeta. Have a good night, kids. This is not how I expected any of that to go. I guess Almeta was a wonder after all, with a sister who loved her like that. I'm happy we did this, Robin. Me too. Yeah. Okay, enough with the sad stuff. We're on a mission today, remember? I'm gonna mark this one, that one as complete. Let's see what else we can do. There's a weird pelipper that appears if you put mail in a specific mailbox at the Judicial District. The Judicial District is just south of here, so we can take care of that one pretty quick. <laughs> Thanks for the treats. Aw, you should lift that pink. You should lift that pink candle. Pink bead. Thanks again. Whoa, that was sweet. All right then. Oh, is the hospital closed? Looks like it is.
Now we're here. Now we need to find the strange mailbox. I'm loving the police vehicles they've added. I think the vehicles in general just help a lot to make the city like feel nicer. They've just, every time they touch this game, it just gets better and better. It's crazy. I know this is the new Gear Grand Dream City main theme, but I love the old one so much I couldn't like replace it for the daytime, so I decided to use this one for the nighttime. This mailbox looks kind of suspicious. Maybe this is the mailbox Talon was talking about. I bought a letter, uh, a letter set at the mail just for this. We just throw the letter down the chute like this. All right, so apparently a weird Pelipper is supposed to appear. I'm not sure what weird means, but Robin, look. The Pelipper does look kind of weird. Thank you for using the mailbox service. It's talking. We will take this letter and use it to harm your friends. What? I mean, farm your friends. That's not any better. I mean, disarm, misarm, shiz, frick. Mayday, bird brain, bird brain, bird brain. Death comes to those who wait. Wrong piece of media. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Oh, okay. I have absolutely I no idea what that was about, but I'm gonna mark this as real and complete. Let's see here. Let's do the one of the Beautifly's Beauty, Ca Beauty Cafe next. If we buy three items in a specific order, something weird will happen. Nothing on what the, uh, those are or what order we need to buy them in, but we'll figure it out. Oh, something fell out of the Pelipper when it exploded. Interesting. Now, where the hell is that cafe even at? Courtroom. Fair. I was kind of hoping we get to see like an actual courtroom. Pokestar Studios. You there, mind giving me a moment of your time? The name's Dyer, Dyer Rector. Okay. Famous director of a plethora of movies shown here at Pokestar Studios. I can see it in you. You have the capabilities of a prime time director. Yes, I have a knack for these things, you know? Why don't you stop by the Pokestar Studios Theater? That's something I want to show you. Um. I'm down to do that. We'll do that later, though. Train district. I'm totally down for it. I mean, we'll do it eventually. I gotta. Like, we gotta do everything. That's the campaign we're on. But for now, we need to focus. SPU delivery service. Okay. Mm -hmm. Main Street Cafe, that's not. Beautiful is beautiful boutique. This is the place. Uh this place sure is colorful. Oh hi Ren. Robin. Oh Lavender, you're here. Guess you guys are working on this wonder then. Yeah, but it's a bit of a strange one. We're supposed to buy three items in a specific order, but we have nothing to go off of and this place is expensive. I'm not inclined to do a trial and error with my wallet. Let's think about this then. What does this store sell? This place sells Reese's merch, but Reese is no longer with us. Is it okay to buy these things? This place is actually trying to clear out all of Reese's merch. All money made for purchases are going into a medical research fund to find a cure for the condition Reese had. Oh, well, that's good. But if we're supposed to buy things in a specific order, and this is Risa's shop, maybe we need to buy things that Risa would wear or has worn. I mean, fuck. Is there any deductive reasoning we can do here? I don't know how much help I can be, Robin. I barely interacted with Risa, and the only time I did was when a fake Risa who kicked my ass. I'm staying far away from this one. Hmm, if we're looking for things Risa wore, we would have to buy them in a specific order. So maybe let's start from a headpiece and then down from there. Okay. I feel kind of awkward being here. I could tell Ryui was feeling kind of weird about this place too. 
Like imagine if you walk into a store with reminders of your deceased friend. It's not cool. Uh, what did Riza wear? From what I remember, she wore a pinkish coat thingy and like dark jeans. Hope that helps. Uh huh. Hey Robin, kind of feel sad being in here. I kind of want to leave, but I hear everything sold here is going into medical research, so it's not so bad. Oh, huh? What kind of headpiece did Risa wear? Pretty sure she wore the headpiece with the ruby red streaks. That would be the one on the left table. I mean, none of these are the fucking color red, but I guess it's this. Alright, we'll buy that. And then... Ah, oh, fuck. I don't know if her sprite changed, but... I think I did it right. So how do you like it? Is it everything I ever dreamed of? Is this store really all mine? I just can't believe it. Yep, it's all signed for and ready to stock full of your merch. Riza? Sorry, I'm just in a complete disbelief. This was my childhood dream after all. To become a celebrity and show the world what I got. And even though I'm still a rising star, people requested merch to the point where it became a reality. I'm just so thankful for all of it. Oh. I'm okay. Just overdid it for a sec and lost my breath. I see. Anyway, this will bring in a huge chunk of cash too. With this money, I can get my brother and sister into a good school. My parents won't have to work as hard. It's all just so great. I'm sure your family is proud of you. Yeah. This is you, Risa. You've made it. Everything you ever wanted is right here in front of you. But you can't give up here. Your success was, has only just begun. You can spread happiness and joy in ways you don't even realize yet. I'm going to become the greatest pop star in the world. Okay. Robin, you good? You've been staring into that mirror for a good five minutes. So nothing happened then? Looks like a bus, Ren. Damn, I guess I saw the first fake wonder of them all. Mm, I'll mark that one off as fake and complete. Now if we take the train to Central Square and then Central Square to Somnia Mall, we'll enter a different world. Surely this one is fake. May as well try it out anyway. Yep, let's head out. We'll be heading out too, but before I do, I wanted to give you this red bead. We found that while looking around the shop. Who knows? It may be important. <laughs> See you, Robin. Hey, you fucking know what this is. God damn it. These guys can't do... I gotta stop saying that. I I don't want them to do anything without me. <laughs> I love them so much. These characters. Oh. All right, so we're going to. It was Central Square, then from Central Square to Somnia Mall. This is just Somnian Mall. We weren't transported to another world at all. Maybe it's metaphorical? Metaphorical in what way? In the sense that we entered the subway from one part of the city, took the train, and then ended up in a different part of the city? If you look at it that way, I suppose the location is vastly different, but I'm not sure I would refer to that as another world. Well, that was kind of a letdown, but it was expected. I'm gonna mark this one down as false, but complete. We're leaving the central building for last, so we should head over to Mika's next. On the back of this sign. Congratulations, you have transported yourself to a new world. You went from Central Square to Drainage District Shopping Center. Look at you go. Huh? So lame. What? Alright. Honestly, I would have preferred that you transfer to another world, but I guess this is fine. We're in the back streets now. I like to believe Pokemon just use localized earthquakes. Like they're earthquakes, but they're like under one spot and they put themselves back together when it's finished. Uh. Oh, whoa, it's... Oh. Why did I think that was somebody I knew? Is this not Mika's Cafe? Wait, this is 
is Mika's Cafe, right? Is that where we were supposed to go? Yeah, secret menu. Reverse candy. Oh, wait, what? Why did it trigger this time? Fuck. Hi, Pat, Robin. Hi, other person I barely know because we've only been in a screen in a few screens of each other. Hi, Robin. And I I here are trying something from the secret menu. The secret menu. Oh my gosh. Okay, you guys wait at your usual spot, and I'll bring it over. Oh, this is our usual spot. Let's go. Okay, here it is. The secret menu is particular, particular tasting tea. Oh no. Oh, it's good. I promise. Well, bottoms up. Oh God. Oh my God. Well, that's something I feel like it's about to explode. What'd you put in that drink? Like that's a family secret, huh? But you better finish that drink before that drink finishes you. What? Oh God, Robin. It's a wild sinister. That's crazy. I'm gonna catch it too. Please stop sweet about the seven up on me. You're mine. <laughs> well, how was it? It was terrible. What would you serve Sinistia to Sinistia T? On a scale of A to F, how would you rate your experience with this to the, this tea today? Are you kidding me? Okay, <laughs> let me just write that down. On a scale from 0 to 10, how likely would you recommend this tea to your friends? Zero. Yes! How highly re would highly recommend? Hey, I said zero. Yeah, and a 10 has a zero in it, doesn't it? I'll smack the shit out of her, bro. Just wanted to let you guys... What the fuck the Mary? What? Just wanted to let you know you guys know that Patty destroyed you with logic and reason. Holy crap. Am I hallucinating or is that Mary talking to me? Patty, what did you put in that drink? Huh? What are you talking about, Ren? I'm losing my goddamn mind, Robin. Patty is gaslighting the shit out of me. <laughs> Stop talking. Oh, and here you go. Come again. Screw talent. He knew that he was doing what he was doing on that one. <laughs> I liked it. Are you? You're lying to me and you to yourself. As for this place, I'm gonna say that is complete and true. It's a wonder, all right. I wonder why anyone will spend their money at this place. But that's six of the seven wonders accounted for. All we have left is the top of the central building, right? If we have to go, if we have to jump off the side, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm going home and going back to Robo Ren. Oh my god. Oh, that was fun. Sorry we're closed. There's a quest over there I can do later. Botanical Garden. Scholar District. We're going to the central building though, right? Helix Hasper Dashery? I mean, I miss old Grand Gene City, but this version look, absolutely just looks better. Like, it's not even close, day and night. Good job, Buggo. Central building. Now we just need to go to the top. The 100th floor. There's slots attended for this metal door. Place the VG found on the slot. Okay, door flung open. What the? Talon? You did it, mates. You've conquered six of the seven wonders and made your way up to the rooftop of the central building. What's going on here? 
Y'all were set up by talent. The whole Seven Wonders thing was made up. Now, when you say it like that, it makes me look diabolical. The Seven Wonders of Grand Jiu-Jitsu just so happens to be my gym puzzle. What? The rooftop of the central building is where my gym's arena is located. I could have had a friend's a fancy little puzzle for trainers to take part in it if they wanted to challenge me. But why build a playground indoors when the whole city is one giant playpen? I agree to that. That sounds way cooler. My challenge is all about unveiling the adventure hidden deep within everyone's hearts. Hey, Lavender, you knew about all this, didn't you? Sorry, guys. I did say Talon was my mentor. I've helped set up each and every variation of the scavenger hunt. Besides, the challenge is set up in a way that makes the challenger familiar with the city and its people. And you do something good for the people along the way, too. But now you're here, and it's time for Robin to experience the seventh wonder, a battle with Pokemon. I knew you already have my ba I know you already have my badge from Soda when he was taking over for a while. So this will just be this will just be for fun. I'll be ready when you are. There's no rush. Oh, nice. I like it. I still get this gym battle, even though it's not a gym battle, it is. I'm all for stuff like this. Now the question becomes, how do I want to approach this fight? Sorry for putting you on the scavenger hunt, mate, but I heard of all your efforts and accomplishments. Right then. If it weren't for you and your group, I think I'd still be a hunk of stone. But not even stone could clip this bird's wings. I'll show you everything I've got. No holding back. Good luck to you, mate. Yeah, let's do this. Cartographer Talon. Let's do this. I it was a 50-50 on whether or not I survived that. I mean, it wasn't, but we can pretend like it was for my health. Drift one. Well, that kind of... Yeah, that miss kind of sucks. I got hit with the s the jets there, so we're just gonna start with uh, Eon because Eon can definitely take a hit. Oh no! Don't you dare! Please don't. Thank you. It's a drift one, so it's offense. It shouldn't be that great. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's gonna set up tail one. I'm fine with that. Or it could just fucking crit the shit out of me. That's always an option. But this might be an opportunity. It is an opportunity. It's aura break now. Well, that's disappointing. When did this happen? Huh. Fair enough. Not like I built my whole strategy around using that Pokemon. Oh well. I guess we'll figure it out then. That's a pretty painful way to find that out, but it, to be fair, it, it wasn't legitimate anyway. Alright then. Plan B. Pop. Oh man, that was such a bad turn. My team is not well positioned for this fight.
Yeah. That's a painful way to find out I lost a uh, power construct, but I suppose that's fair. Um, well, I definitely don't want to give you this anymore. I'd rather give that to a Pokemon that's a bit more consistent. Because this Pokemon, it dies too quickly. Like, it, it was great on it because of uh, Power Construct. And maybe if I can get it to its 70% form, we can talk. But, like, as it stands now, it's a little too fragile. But, oh, man. I have the Soft Sand. Do I have Soft Sand? Do not have Soft Sand. How do you increase this? I don't even know. Earthplate, yeah. That'll do. Oh, man. Actually, I'm going to give this to you. Give him my life orb. Give you nothing because I need to teach you acrobatics because we're going to fight fire with fire on this one. Where's my acrobatics team? Acrobatics. I know I have the TM for it. There it is, right there. Place sucker punch for that. Damn, dude, that's such a. I mean, like I said, it's not legit that I had it in the first place. I'm just surprised I found out about <laughs> in the worst way possible. I might even want to change my team up a little bit now as a result of this. I was like, oh shit, that's right, I lived. I'm about to power construct for sweep. Nah, but to be fair, like, uh, I can't be mad. Uh, I need a different Mega. Ganyam's probably not going to be very strong in this particular matchup. Emperor and Polion should be rather good. Has flying type resistance, so it should be better. Super effective coverage. Okay, let's. I should be better off now. Nine Tails. I don't think Nine Tails is faster than. You know what? Empoleon should be able to take a hit from it no matter what the fuck it tries to do. Damn, dude, I was not ready for a gym battle in this session. I'm gonna be real with you guys. <laughs> I'm not against it, though. I'll pull up. Yeah, we can get that off. Asshole. Or a choreo. Which one is it? The fuck. The fire one. 
I've got to have a burn heal for that. Yeah. Man, Napoleon kind of fat, so we can take a few of these. Oh shit, I think he fucking, he tailwinded, didn't he? Oh shit, wait, 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 wait. Oh, please kill him in one hit. Oh shit. I may have made a mistake somewhere in this. Somewhere in this, I made a mistake. I have to take that. Braviary. Oh, fuck. Uh, let's just get Empoleon back up because he can take hits from these. Yeah, you're gone. Oh, we can just crit with my wild. That's always an option. Butterfree. This game is no chill. He's not sending out a motherfucking Butterfree. This thing's about to do something stupid. There it is! Oh shit. Yep. I gotta put my faith in Empoleon because I know Empoleon can take a hit. But I also kind of want to just go for Sucker Punch. Yeah. Why did I crit twice on this thing? My wall was here for blood. And it's done. Bravo, you truly are the better trainer. If you call whatever the fuck I just did being the better trainer, then sure. And the victor goes to, and to the victor goes the spoils. My bird Pokemon were no match, and I don't think there's a point uh, to going on any further. But they they fought hard, and well, I can't say I'm upset. It truly was an honor, mate. If I could give you another badge, I would. Way to go, Robin. You were awesome out there. You were. Uh, you were cool out there too, Talon. Don't forget about your efforts. Florin is right. You had Robin in a corner for quite some time there. Aw, oh, shucks. You're all too much. Sometimes you know that. Yeah, he was fucking me up. But with that, the adventure with the Seven Wonders comes to a close once again. I hope you all enjoyed yourselves. It was fun, but I have to get back home and prepare for our gathering later. Robin and I will go with you since everyone's going to meet up there anyway. Okay, then. Let's all head over together. See y'all later. So that's another one down in the books. Robin's strength is, truly is something remarkable. Yes, it is. If you told me when I first arrived in Avium that I would become a gym leader for more than two years, I think you would have thought I was insane. Truly. But I think soon it will be time for me to leave again. I'm still on my grand mission for mapping the entire world. That's talent, always having to be somewhere, never sitting still. If I don't stretch my wings, I may just forget how to fly. But I would dare leave my best friend while he's dealing with the troll that is his sister. So you'll have me around for just a little while longer. Thanks, Talon. The future for me is uncertain, but when I'm mayor of Grand Dream City, everything's going to change. When you are... Oh, didn't I tell you? With Cassandra gone, the city's going to need a new mayor. I've submitted my application and I'll be candidate in the next election. Bloody exciting. In that case, I'll be your campaign manager. Let's make Grand Dream City wonderful. Oh, oh, a wonderful place to live. The eighth wonder. The entire city itself. All smiles. Damn. And we're back. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, shit.
shit. Uh. Thank you. I was going to say not. Although, I can't believe they revamped that place again. Like, how many times? Oh. I still think that's an incredible... Or an incredibly crazy way to find out. Find out my Pokemon lost its got its ability swapped. But, honestly... Man, if I can get this to 70% form, I'd be down. It's just 10% form is so bad. Oh my god. It's so hard to use this Pokemon. Because it dies in one hit. I don't know. We'll have to see. Because I do think, I do like the thematic, like, things, uh, the, the, the thematic argument that comes from using Zygarde for the story. But it's also like, fuck. The user attacks the target by emitting steam. This also, this may also confuse the target. Huh. I mean, fairy ground is a interesting typing. I like my team structure, uh, structure to be honest. Uh, even if my typing, my type coverage isn't very good, I do like that, like, utility-wise, I have two defensive pivots in these two. Um, and they're both pretty good at it. Um, and then I got one hyper-offense Pokemon. Uh, I guess two now because of these two. Although, Fate's more of a revenge killer. I'd give Primarina hyper-offense because Primarina just does a lot of damage. Um, although, I might change the move up. not a particularly fast Pokemon though and then Cinderace is gonna be my uh, my mega my ace so uh, I'm keeping my two starters well I guess three now with this um, I have three starters uh, mm -mm. I guess this is just... This was the legendary I wanted on my team, but it's just like, oh my god, it's so hard to use this. I wonder if Zygarde... Uh, let me look some stuff up. Is it 70% or is it... No, it's 50%. I'm stupid. No. I want it to be in rejuvenation now, but I doubt it is. Like, I don't need the power construct yet. I know I get that once I finish the quest, but I at least want the 50% form because the 50% form stats are just, it's slower, but it can fucking take a hit. Technically, it's faster than its perfect construct form, but just how frail this Pokemon is, it just makes it way too hard to use. And then like 100% form doesn't even add more power necessarily, it just adds more bulk to the Pokemon, which to be fair, is, that's why you use Zygarde. I guess I should look it up. Might as well.
It does not look like Zygar 50% is available. At least from what I can see. I don't know, man, because like without that, this Pokemon is just impossible to use. I mean, I guess I'll just use 10% as like a fucking quick killer. Cause like, I just, I can't do anything with this Pokemon. <laughs> you just gotta hit hard and kill something. All right. I don't think the other versions are in the game. So I need to change the moves up. Guess that's what we're gonna do for now. All right, sorry about that. Let's uh, let's talk to the people. What's what's everyone doing? Everyone's just vibing. All right, glad you can make it, Robin. This guy learns pretty sudden, but the group uh, could use some time off. Food will be prepared once I get over my phone anxiety and finally call this pizza place. Hello, Robin. You and I are just about ready to make our announcement. I know you just got here, but are you ready to go as well? Uh, sure. Awesome. I'll begin them. Everyone, may I please have your attention? Thank you everyone for coming tonight. I know this was very sudden of us, but Hugh and I have important news to share with you all. Oh, just say it. My heart can't take another second. Are they getting married? Are they engaged? Well, Hugh and I have been thinking about this a, lo uh, a lot over the past couple of days, but Hugh and I are going to Hoenn for the New Year's to be with my parents. Oh, that's great news. I'm sure you guys will enjoy the trip. Bring back souvenirs for all of us. Um, that's the funny thing. Um, we won't be coming back. You guys are leaving for good? Yeah, but why? Well, I only came to Avian for Axis High and I just finished my last semester. I applied for an internship back in my hometown of Mossdeep and I got it. As for me, I was only here because of Room, but now she's gone. Honestly, this city just makes me think of bad things and I don't think it's healthy for me to be here anymore. So Lavender's parents invited me to their place too. Oh, Huey. 
It makes sense, but this really does suck. We're leaving on the 27th, so we'll still be here for Christmas. Well, you're always welcome in my house. If you ever want to visit, I'm just one phone call away. Thanks, Rodea. But what about Saki, Val, and Adam? Actually, I've done nothing with that project. It's been mostly Thomas and Eric's working together. Oh, gotcha. If you want more updates about that, you should call Eric. Okay, no more sadness. Cannon finally ordered that pizza. I don't like talking on the phone. <laughs> yeah, this must be hard for her. She kind of bonded with those two a lot, especially Huey. Hey, sis. Hey, Ren. You doing okay? No, not really. Let's talk about it. Okay. Are you sad about Lavender and Huey leaving? They both first told me about it a week ago, so I had time to prepare. But hearing them announce it like that was not very comfy. Aren't you happy for them? Of course I'm happy for them. It's just... It just sucks, you know? I, I finally found some friends that like me. I know I can be a bit off-putting to some people and I get it. Okay, man, now I feel like a complete asshole for how much I shit on her. Like, uh, during the parts of the playthrough where she was around. And I was like, no, listen, listen, listen. I am an asshole. But that's kind of my thing, you know? Like, she, it's not her, it's me, you know? It, yeah, that's the best way I can put it. Um, but the moment I make actual friends, they're just up and out like that. I know it's not true, but it really feels like they're leaving just to escape me. That's what my brain keeps telling me anyway. That's what we call anxiety. That's not true at all. Anxiety is, in rash is irrational, I know, but it's hard to fight. Yeah. You know you could just go with them. Go with them? Yeah. But, but I can't leave Avium. I have to look after Mom. You know she isn't the brightest bulb. We had to un uninstall our landline because she kept giving the telemarketers money. Mom will be fine. And what about you? Twins gotta stick together. We're bonded. You have to live your life, Rihanna. You can't base your base uh, your decisions around others. That bond ain't going away just because you're far from home. I'll be fine, and Mom will be fine. We're not going anywhere. And if you end up hating it, you can just come back. But what about the prophecy? Oh my god, Rihanna, not this again. Just stop. Fine. Maybe. Maybe I'll ask. I can't just follow them without their permission or anything. But, um, actually, they already asked me if I wanted to go. Are you serious? You love to be so dramatic sometimes, Rihanna. Gotta keep things spicy. So are you good? Yeah, I'm better, but I've never left the region before. I'm a little scared. You'll deal with it. You're stronger than you think. Ren! What? Thanks. Yeah, yeah, listen, we got a party to get back to, so... I need a few minutes to stop being such a messy bitch. You go on ahead. Okay? Damn. I got lucky with Ren being my twin. He always knows what to say. Ren has come a long way, man. Okay. So we're back here. Robin, things worked well with uh, worked with Ren. His wireframe has dissipated, and thus more of the file address left behind has been revealed, which means Aaron should be learning something new soon. Melia, tell Robin right now, young lady. Huh? What? It's nothing. I just spent three minutes of time in sight. Three minutes in real world time. That translates to roughly three months with Zite's processing speed. Melly has spent three months worth of time by herself in Zite. Robin was telling me about a potential program we could use for use Zite for, and I just had to try it. She spent three months in here? I know nothing about programming, and it's using a language I've never even heard of before. What's it called? It's called Ruby. It's what Zite uses for its code. With Nancy's help, I've been able to learn quite a bit of it. Your mind won't be able to distinguish the difference in time. Once you start confusing your brain, you're going to be a whole lot of trouble. This is what Zite was designed for. I'm supposed to be spending time in here. And it's not like I'm alone. I have you to talk to. You know that's not the same. 
And this place wasn't designed for you. It was designed for the Interceptor. Please put your health first. I know. I know. Look, I just needed some time to come to terms with things. What I discussed with you three earlier has been eating away at me. Because tonight, the night, tonight's the night I finally going to talk to her. There's no point in holding out any longer, and besides, the sooner the better. Fuck, I'm confused. Who is her? For everyone. Everyone needs to make sacrifices. Venom? Wait, what did we talk about earlier? Did we mention... My... Fuck my brain. Okay. I guess we're seeing it. And I go... Man, I don't want to watch this. This is going to be heartbreaking, is it? You called? Hey, Venom. Thanks for coming. We need to... Uh, I just Before I read this, I just got to let you know that all the awkwardness and cringe that's going to come from this, I want to let you know that I read this and I do this because I love you guys. But don't think for a second I don't catch this wave of secondhand cringe having to read some of this stuff, okay? Because I'm about to... What is possibly either going to be a heartfelt love confession or a rejection... And I gotta feel that, man. And that's just gonna be kind of disappointing, you know what I'm saying? Let's get into it. We need to talk for a bit. Do you have time? No, ain't no fucking way! No! Oh. 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 I want it. No! I can take it. I'm a, I'm a big kid now. I can take it. But it hurts. I wanted to see that. What the fuck? Why did they keep cutting away from the good shit? <sighs> you sure you don't want to come with? No, it's probably best if I don't go with you guys. But that's okay. I have some work I, I have to finish up anyway. Hey, guys, if we leave now, we can get there by tonight. Anyway, um, Robin... About those files. Aaron said news le new letters appeared in. Guys. It's nothing that important. E-T-O were the letters, by the way. You guys have fun. Bye, Melia. You guys ready? Guess so. Alright, let's th get going then. Yeah, vacation time. Aw, oh, hell yes. It's been so long time since I've been to Terajuma. It's a lot cooler than last time. Yeah, last time we were in Terrajuma, it was still summer. Tessa and Amber should be waiting for us inside. Uh, I'm not sure what happened, but the way Venom was looking and acting, I'm pretty sure I can infer what happened. But, yeesh. Alright, I think this is a good place to call it. If you guys are enjoying my playthrough, as usual, please leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys next time in Pokemon Rejuvenation. Until then, take care and bye.